Well, the thing is that these scientists are all trying to create their own weather to study it. Create weather? But no one can do that. Well, there you are. You should watch this show. I think it might be on again later in the week. I'm going to be on vacation later this week. Why don't you tell me about it instead? All right. Well, there are these two scientists here in the United States who developed a cannon or a big gun to fire hailstones at 500 miles per hour. Hailstones? Yes. Hailstones are the little pieces of ice that fall from the sky during some storms. Oh, yeah, right. And what's the purpose of that? They think that hailstones may be harder than ordinary ice. This is helping them to find out. Then, there is a researcher in Switzerland who is studying avalanches. Avalanches are large amounts of snow that fall down a mountain, right? Yes, that's it. We think snow is so light, but it can travel at speeds up to 250 miles per hour in an avalanche. This scientist starts his own avalanches to find out how that happens. Hmm, that sounds dangerous. Does he have any ideas? Yes. He thinks that the snow may collect into big snowballs below the surface where you can't see them and that they can move faster than ordinary snow. All right, now you're making me feel cold. <laughs> well, this might warm you up again. There's a scientist in Japan who studies wildfires or fires in nature that are very hard to control. Oh, yes, terrible. There's a lot about those in the news at the moment. California, Australia, it's a big problem. Well, during a bad wildfire, there's a moment when the fire begins to spin or turn around in a circle very quickly. On the show, this scientist started a really big fire to try to learn more about how this happens. In his research, he could make a real difference in how we try to control wildfires.